What's up guys, ComputerMD of Gilbert here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add testimonials to your website. This can be very powerful and uh, a good use to show credibility and show how well your business is doing, um, and just establish a good name for yourself by using other people to your advantage. Before we begin, don't forget to go check out WixMyWebsite.com, uh, link in the description below. I am creating this new Wix course for you guys showing you how to start from scratch and build your Wix website to everything you've wanted. Uh, and this course is going to be very beneficial. If you go here to wishmywebsite.com, click this blue button that says notify me when it's live. Get on the email list to get notified when this course goes live. Guys, I've been working very hard on it and I look forward to launching it with you guys. Uh, just to let you know, the email list will know first and the first 10 people to sign up will get something extremely valuable. So I recommend you head over there and do that if you're at all interested in learning more about Wix and learning how to build a Wix website successfully. Other than that, guys, let me show you how to add testimonials to your website. So you're gonna go to the app market and then you're gonna type in Infuse and you'll see Infuse Testimonials by Infuse. You would then click that, then click add to site, and then click add app. Once you do that, you'll see these testimonials pop up right here, uh, and then it just says, please upgrade to add other testimonials app. I'll show you guys that in a second. So now you would simply double click on it. Once you double click on it, it'll open the settings, and then it says, please upgrade to add another testimonials app, want to start over. So I already did this as an example before. I'm gonna click start over. So then when I click start over, so there you guys go. You have to upgrade to have multiple testimonial apps. Uh, this is a good example. I apologize for that little inconvenience there uh, as I added it before to try to test it. But you do have to upgrade and upgrading costs $3.17 a month annually or $3.99 a month monthly uh, for the premium, which pretty much gives you unlimited everything. Uh, so if you need to upgrade, that's your choice. You do what you have to do with that. Now right here it says manage testimonials. We'll get to that in just a second. Right now we're gonna check out design. So you could choose a template and you have several templates to choose from. However, all of the ones besides these two all require upgraded apps to actually use those templates. Um, again, whether you want to upgrade or not is completely up to you. Uh, sometimes I could see like this being beneficial so that way you could get it customized to however you want it to look. Um, however, these two designs work perfectly fine in my opinion, um, but again, your choice. And then you have layout, and layout is, so right here you can see how many columns. You want one column, two columns. So if you change it to two columns, and then two rows, it'll pull up testimonials just like that. And then you could have testimonial order. So do you want them as they're entered? So pretty much the first one at the top, or you could choose by newest, by oldest, or completely random. However you want to do that is completely up to you. And then you also see slider options. So these are uh, upgraded feature, and this will pretty much have your testimonials on a slider, and then you could autoplay your testimonials as well. Uh, this could be a very cool feature, um, however, do I think it's necessary? No, but if you do upgrade the app, definitely use this and take advantage of it. And then the slider dots is to show people like they have the action to click next, um, and you could choose how you want this to look and the time between the slides. And then you see the alignment here, left to right or right to left. Again, personal choice there, preference, however you guys want to display it. Next, you'll see colors, so you could choose how the testimonials are laid out, uh, whether you reset it to your site's basic colors. Um, each website design or template usually has a color set with it, and you could choose whatever those colors are, or you could go in and customize the colors yourself. Again, completely your choice. And then right here, you see form, so collect visitor testimonials. So in order to actually collect testimonials, you need to upgrade the app. Now, if you just have testimonials, see, add a button that opens a testimonials form for your customers. So this app allows you to display people's testimonials that you've already received, 
But if you'd like to continue receiving testimonials from visitors or people that have worked with you before, you're going to need to upgrade the app and this will be the form that your customer or visitor fills out to write a testimonial about you. And then you can see right here, customize form text and you could change it and customize all of these fields to however you'd want it to look. So guys, that's pretty much it for design aspects. Now right here you see manage testimonials under main and that just allows you to manage the actual testimonials. So you can choose where, where your testimonials are at. If they're gonna be active testimonials, you would simply click add testimonial. You'd add the customer a name, possibly an image, the date, um, and the text. So their actual testimonial. Uh, some depending on how you work with your business, you may offer a link back to their site or their um, blog post. Um, you could also see submitted testimonials. So after you upgrade the app, people that write a testimonial in that form will be right here. The testimonial will be displayed and you could choose to accept it and make it active. And then you could also see import social. So this is like you can connect your Facebook account, Twitter account and Yelp account to have reviews and testimonials come in from all three of those, which is actually very cool because it's like a, a testimonial stream almost, kind of like a social media stream. So this is a very cool app, uh, very useful for your business or your website and really helps you establish credibility. If this, guy, if this video helped you guys out, please feel free to drop a like down below as I really appreciate it. Comment if you have any questions at all. And don't forget to subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert as I'm looking forward to growing with you guys. And part of growing is growing as a channel, as a community. And then my next biggest part of growth is getting ready to launch this Wix My Website course, which, by the way, WixMyWebsite.com, link in the description below. If you guys are at all interested in learning more about Wix, learning how to build a website, or gaining more knowledge in Wix as a whole, this course is definitely for you. It's going to be a completely beginner course. So whether you're starting at the bottom or starting at the middle or starting at the top, you're going to learn something with this course. And I'm going to go step by step and really help you guys out because I'm looking forward to seeing you guys grow and build stunning websites. So guys, that is it for this video. Don't forget to check out wishmywebsite.com. I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for spending a couple minutes with me tonight.